hi guys in today's video i'll teach you how to make this beautiful frog here um, it's a very low sew pattern because this is the only parts that you have to sew and you'll do it really really fast okay and just so you know the yarn that i used for this project here is a plush yarn from katia bambi i will leave the name of the brand and also the colors that I used in the description so you can check it later but for the purpose of this video I will use a cotton yarn because it's a bit easier for you to see the stitches and follow the tutorial with me so this frog here let me take the measures it measures nine centimeters I use the plush yarn that I mentioned before with a four millimeter crochet hook size okay but our frog here today, we need, we need stitch markers because, you know, I cannot live without them. I will use a 2.2 millimeter crochet hook size from Tulip. You need a pair of scissors, tapestry needle. I have this kit here from Clover that I super, super like. Um, I also have this box of safety eyes. I bought this on AliExpress. I can leave the link in the description because people are always asking me where do I purchase the eyes, the safety eyes for my amigurumis. And I have this box here that are 8 millimeters, 10, 12, 14. I think the biggest one is 14 millimeter size. Yeah, just so you know, this frog here, um, this eyes is uh, 14 millimeter size. Okay? And the yarns that we'll use for this project, as I mentioned, are all 100% cotton yarn. They are not from the same brand because I don't have the exact the same colors that I want for, for this project in the same brand. And I'm not afraid of making this combinations with different yarn brands. Um, there is a video here in the channel in case you want to learn how to do it properly. I will leave the link in the description too. Um, but just so you know, this yarn here is called Lisboa and the brand is Rosario. This is 100% must rice cotton. This one, oh, I don't have the label here, but it's Alba. I will leave the link in the description. And this one I bought in AliExpress. <laughs> this is 100% cotton yarn too. And I will I bought in Ali, as I said, and I will also leave the link in the description. So let's get it started. So we start our frog with eight single crochets inside the magic ring. You know that this is my favorite way of doing the magic ring. So round number one, you make eight single crochets inside the magic ring. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight single crochets inside the magic ring, pull the thread to close it, and this is our round number one. Round number two. We make eight increases so as you know I make the first stitch here and mark with the stitch marker let me do the increase already I always like to mark with a different color just to highlight okay so this is my first stitch my first increase actually and now we have to make seven more increases so eight increases in round number two and we end up with 16 single crochets So I finished round number two and I have 16 single crochets. I always like to pull the yarn a little bit more 
just to make sure that my magic ring won't open. So round three, we make one single crochet and one increase eight times. So as you know, I make my first stitch mark with the stitch marker. First stitch, now one increase. One single crochet, one increase, and you just repeat the sequence eight times until the end of the round, and you will have 24 single crochets in this round, okay? So I will keep making the sequence and I'll come back when I finish this round. So we finished round three, we have one, two, three rounds here. And in this last round, we have 24 single crochets. So now round number four, you make one single crochet, put the stitch marker, and one increase. Now you make two single crochets and one increase seven times. So one single crochet, two single crochets, one increase. Just repeat the sequence seven times. I will keep doing it and I will come back. So I did two single crochets, one increase seven times. Oops. So let me just recap this round with you. We had one single crochet, one increase. Then we did two single crochets and one increase seven times, but there's still one single crochet left here. And then we make one single crochet. I like to do it that way because otherwise we would have some pointy triangles here. It would not be like a perfect round shape in the Enigrami. And I like to do this non-centralized increases in my crochet pieces. I can do a video about it in case you're interested. Just let me know in the comments. <laughs> so now round number five, I will do with you. Let me just make the first single crochet here and mark because we have now 32 single crochets. And from round five to round eight, we'll have the same amount of stitches. We'll have um, for four rounds, 32 single crochets, but there will, there will be some color changes because this is what we want here. We want to create this belly part. So we will keep the other color, in my case is this one um, next to me, to start making the color changes. So for this round, the sequence is you make 12 single crochets. I already did the first one, so now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. I will not finish this stitch because now we will start the color change. And in my case, this is the color change that I want to do. Okay, you just leave the two loops of the last stitch in your crochet hook and finish the stitch with the new color. I will leave the link in the description for another video where I teach some techniques to make color changes in case you have never done that before. So we made um, 12 single crochets with the first color, the green one, and now we make eight single crochets with this, I don't know, off-white color. I guess it's off-white. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Again, I won't finish the eighth stitch here with the um, off-white color. You still keep the two loops of the white color here, the off-white color. I usually press it like this so my loops won't be too loose. Oops. Now you take the green color and finish the stitch like this. And you complete the round with 12 single crochets. This sequence, choose 12 single crochets here, 8 single cro crochets with the off-white color, and 12 single crochets with the green color again. You should do the sequence for 4 rounds, okay? From round 5 to round 8. And I just want to show you something before I continue doing these rounds. There are some ways in which you can make this color changes, okay? You see here that I didn't cut the yarn. I just have the yarn passing from one side to the other. This is one possibility. You can also cut the yarn inside and tie a knot every time you join another yarn color. This is another possibility. In this case, since it's not like a very, um, a very long round with color changes, I would do it that way. It's a tiny amigurumi. You see how tiny it is in my hands? So I don't want to cut the yarn and keep making the knots inside. I prefer to do it that way. But my biggest advice is when you take the yarn from this side to this side, do not leave it like too tight because otherwise your crochet piece will bend like this you don't want not like this like this yeah if you do it like see this let me see if i can focus see that yarn here if you keep it like too too tight you will bend the amigurumi and you don't want this no one will see this part it will be hidden inside so just leave this yarn a little bit loose inside and you don't have to keep rejoining the yarn every time you reach to the other round. I don't know if it was too complicated. I will keep crocheting and I will show you when I get to this part again, just to make this explanation a bit clearer for you. Okay, so as I promised, I came back, I finished round five, and now round six, I have to do exactly the same sequence. So I came here to show you what I was explaining before. You see that the off-white color is in this side. If I pull, if I pull this yarn and leave it like super, super, super tight, tightened. I'm sorry. Look what happens. We don't want that. So this yarn here, it has to be loose. Okay, when you take the yarn from one side to the other, it has to be a bit loose here, otherwise you bend your amigurumi. I guess now it was clear for you to see what I was explaining, okay? So let me take it again. Leave it a bit loose here inside because if you pull that too much and it's too tight, you will bend your amigurumi, okay? So this is what I mean. Just keep doing your sequence until you get to round number eight. I will keep doing mine and I will come back. Okay, so I finished round eight here. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds. Now round number nine, we will make, let me make the first stitch here, because otherwise I get lost in my explanation. So. I must have my first stitch marked. This is how my brain works. <laughs> okay, so round nine, we make two single crochets and one decrease three times using the green color. So one, two, and decrease. One, two, and 
two creams and the third okay the third one one two and decrease but you will not finish the stitch because we have to change colors and with the off-white color with the off-white color we make two single crochets and one decrease twice okay so remember you grab the yarn let it a bit loose otherwise you bend your crochet piece you bend your amigurumi and you don't want that so here we make one two decrease decrease one two degrees again do not finish the decrease because we have to change to the green color and we will finish this part here making two single crochets and one decrease three times okay and we will end up with 24 single crochets in this round so you take the green yarn make sure not to leave it like super super tight so I will keep crocheting and I will come back making two single crochets and a decrease you repeat it three times Okay, so I finished round nine and now round number 10, we will continue with 24 single crochets. But now what you have to do is nine single crochets in green color, six single crochets with off white color and nine single crochets with green color. And you end up with 24 stitches, okay? I will keep crocheting this part because you just have to like repeat the sequence nine six and nine and i will come back okay look how cute it is yeah i'm super happy with it <laughs> so i finished round number 10 and we have 24 single crochets it looks a bit messy inside but it doesn't matter no one will see it when we close our amigurumi round 11 we make 10 single crochets with green color let me make the first stitch of the round and mark it so we make 10 single crochets with green color 4 single crochets with off-white and 10 with green color again Okay, so let me crochet it with you, at least this first part. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The yarn got a bit messy. Sometimes it happens. Seven, eight, nine, and then now we make on top of the white color because we want to decrease this part. Join the off white color. Leave it a bit loose. We make four single crochets. One, two, 
three and four there is a still one here but don't worry because now you will continue the round with 10 more single crochets in green color I will keep doing it and I will come back okay I finished the round we are almost getting to the end of our pattern at least the body yeah because there are other details for us to do we have 24 single crochets and now there will not there we won't have uh, color changes anymore so we can just cut the off-white color and there are some different ways to finish off this yarn here you can simply tie a knot with any remaining thread that you have inside like i'm doing here this is a very easy way and you put it inside because we still have to stuff it so it doesn't matter if you put the remaining thread inside the amigurumi okay so now on round 12 and 13 we will just repeat the sequence of making 24 single crochets only using green color okay i will do these two rounds and i will come back okay so i finished round 13 look how tiny and how cute it is <laughs> compared to our blushy version it's so so tiny i love to see how it looks in a smaller version um, you can also start stuffing. I have a bowl of stuffing here and you can start doing it. I think it's even better than living to do it like in the last last round. So in this round here, round 14, we will make one single crochet and one decrease and repeat the sequence eight times to end up with 16 stitches. Okay? So I just made the first one, decrease, and that's what you have to do in the entire round, okay? One single crochet, one decrease. Just keep doing it and I will do it myself here. And I will come back when I finish the round to make the last round with you. So I finished round 14 and I have 16 single crochets here. Honestly, um, I do not like to keep the stitch marker in the last round because since it's so tiny, it starts to bother me. So I just focus on what I'm doing, try to concentrate and not get distracted to avoid losing count. In this part, I would also put more stuffing because then it will be like a super small hole and it will be even more difficult to stuff so you can simply continue stuffing your amigurumi before we make the last round of the body part in the last round we'll just make decreases okay so we make eight decreases to end up with eight single crochets so one two three you see that i like to keep um the yarn very tight to the crochet hook in this part to avoid the holes in this decrease part this is where usually people get um, more holes and this is one of my ways to avoid it this loop here it has to be like super tight the crochet hook
this. And here it is. Now we can simply cut the yarn to make the inverted magic ring. You can leave like that. Oops. The scissors is definitely too old. I have to retire it. <laughs> It's still a bit empty for me, so what I'll do now is take my tweezers. There is a whole video here in the channel dedicated to stuffing in which I teach how much I like to use tweezers and how to work with it properly. It can be like a super helpful tool to stuff your amigurumis, especially when you get like to the last round where the hole is too small to put stuffing with your fingers this is super helpful okay just keep stuffing okay now i think it's it's good, it's firm enough. And let's close it with an inverted magic ring. Now it's better. <laughs> so you can take your tapestry needle and this is how I like to make the inverted magic ring. Simply skip the first and take the front loop of the next stitch, skip one front loop, I'll do it once more, skip one and front loop, pull the yarn and I like to fasten off Look, it's not pointy, you see that it's perfect here, right? And I like to fasten off with uh, an invisible knot, which again, there is a tutorial here in the channel in case you have never done this technique before. I'm sorry, I lost focus here on the camera. Try to make the loop again. You see the knot here? This is a very clever tip. And when you pull the yarn, the knot enters the anger. You cut the remaining thread, and that's it for this part. Now let's make the eyes and continue our beautiful frog. Actually, let's do the feet and the arms first because this is a very simple technique. You see how fast it is. So first, you insert the tapestry needle between rounds four and five. Observe here, one, two, three, four and five, this round here. And I made it like in the edges of the color changes, okay? So that's what I'll do in this part as well. One, two, three, four, and five. So it's this one. You insert the tapestry needle here, pull it to have like a long thread. And as simple as that, you just have to pass the yarn a couple of times here to create volume. Very simple, right? This is what you have to do. Pass it a couple of times. You don't have to make it super tight because you want the volume. So I guess I did it like, I don't know, five, six times, something like that. There's no correct amount of times as you do it because Maybe you want less volume, maybe you want even more than me. 
so it's a personal decision you just do it like this a couple of times see you start to create the feet already very very simple It's turning so cute, oh my god. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do just one more and I'll be done with it. Great, look how beautiful it is. Now you can simply pass the yarn, since it's here, let me do like this. And you take the tapestry needle to the other edge of the color change here to do the same thing. Okay? So again, you just pass the yarn a couple of times to create the volume. I will keep doing it and I will come back because I want to show you how I fasten it off which is also something very simple and easy to be done. And this technique is what you will also do here for the arms, okay? So the feet we do between rounds four and five, as I showed you, and the arms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, here on round nine, you see that it's between rounds um, 9 and 10, okay? This is where you have to do the arms. So I will keep creating the volume here and then I'll come back just to show you how to fasten off this, this remaining thread and you will do the same thing to the arms and you see that they are right next to the edges of the color changes as well. So now that I'm already satisfied with the volume that I created for both feet, I have one remaining thread here and it's very simple <laughs> you take like the last time that you will um, pass the yarn to create the volume and take the tapestry needle to exactly the same hole where the other remaining thread is okay like this the yarn is coming out of this hole I pass the thread like this you see that I have both volumes here perfectly done and I told you that it was simple with both threads here you tie a knot one I'll make it one more time just to make sure And you have the knot here you can put the knot inside with tweezers or tapestry needle whatever you want it's funny because with the plushy yarn when you grab the tweezers like this you can put the entire yarn inside because usually it's easier I like to open up the, the holes between stitches but the cotton yarn is so tight that it makes it a bit more difficult so I just put the knot inside, cut the yarn, I still can see the remaining parts of the yarn here, so with the help of the tweezers, you put that inside, and that's it. Perfect, right? I'll do it once again for the arms here, as I already explained, and I will come back. So I finished the arms and the feet, now we'll make the blush. This part here, let me take the blushy yarn, blushy version, sorry. We'll create this. And to do it, we will pass the yarn horizontally between rounds 12 and 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 11, 12, 13. So 12 and 13. And again, next to the edges. Of the color changes okay like this and with the pink 
color yarn you pass the yarn like this just once is already enough and here in this edge of the other side as well I will use the same technique as I did before to fasten off okay just leave it a line here like this horizontally you can cut the remaining thread let's keep it simple right I like to do it that way tie a knot and cut the remaining thread I'm just going to put it like this because I want a bit more volume we are almost there and the last part of our amigurumi look how cute it is is the um, eye part okay so you will crochet two pieces of course because we need two eyes to sew it here and with the green yarn you will start with six single crochets inside the magic ring so one two three four five and six single crochets inside the magic ring pull the thread to close it and this is our round number one round number two we make six increases so this is my first increase mark with the stitch marker and you will have 12 single crochets in the end of this round third increase fourth increase fifth and the last one excellent so this is our round number two and we have 12 single crochets now rounds number three and four you just repeat the sequence making 12 single crochets in each round okay so i will keep doing it and i will come back when i finish round number four so i finished the the eyes here i have one two three four rounds just cut a long Thread because we have to sew it and I'm better safe than sorry so I always leave a big remaining thread the eyes used are 8 millimeter size because this is the smallest um, eye size that I have here with me at home I have the other eye here just to show you and you see that it's in the limit it's a even a little bit confusing but it's right in the limit of the size of the the eyes that were created you place the eyes between rounds um three and four okay so let me just pull the thread here i like to open with the uh the crochet hook itself it's easier to do it like this i force it a little bit because this part is thicker than this so i like to do it you see that i create a hole now it's easier for me to insert the safety eyes and you see that it's right in the limit and here inside this small ball that was created it's also in the limit but it's totally fine and i have my safety lock here
good. My goodness, look how perfect and cute it is. So I will just put the safety lock. It's so tiny. I put it this way. Now it's safe. Since there's not much space inside to put stuffing, I will still try to stuff it a little bit. But I will use this remaining thread from the magic ring to put inside and maybe stuff it a little bit more. And now we just have to sew it to the body of the amigurumi. Before sewing, you know that I always say it, I like to pin everything. Just to make sure I have things in the right place in my amigurumi because I don't like sewing and I don't want to sew everything and then regret the place that I did it. So I have my box of pins here. I separated some pins already and the eyes are placed between rounds 10 and 14 like this in the sides. Okay, so first I will pin it. Just to make sure I'm satisfied with the position. My goodness, I think I like this one even more than the plushy version. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got too excited. But this turned out so cute. I was not expecting that to be so, so cute. This one is a bit to the side down and this one is upper. So you see how important it is? I don't want the amigurumi to be like this. So I will try to, to place it in a better place. Mm, now it's better. It's a subtle difference. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm a perfectionist. Okay, good, excellent. So now I have the eyes like, it looks like they're even. It's in the right place. So now you simply sew it. And I know usually people don't like sewing. Honestly, I don't like it either. That's why I try to keep sewing always as simple as possible. But using pins makes this job way, way easier. Demands patience, which sometimes we don't have. <laughs> we want things done like fast and it can be tricky when we are working with art. Demands patience, guys. You see that it's a simple sewing. There is no, um, there is no hack here on how to do it. I simply pass the yarn through the stitch and through the body of the amigurumi. So I will keep sewing and I'll come back when I finish the frog, our frog derrick. So we finished our beautiful frog derrick. <laughs> I love this name. I wanted um, people's names combined with the names of the animals and that's how I got to frog derrick. Actually this was not the first one that I decided the name. but. That's it. This is the plushy version and this is the cotton yarn version. They look amazingly cute. Um, this one we measured in the beginning that it's 9 centimeters. This one, let's see, 4. Yeah, about 4 centimeters. So it's super tiny. You can make a keychain out of it. It's super nice. Um, and just so you know, 
I created more characters for this collection. This is called my Animates collection. Um, this is Benjamin. This is Big Trick. <laughs> Look how cute he is with his tail. Um, this is Caroline. And this is Douglas. <laughs> and there are more characters like Henrietta the Chicken and Chicolas the Chick. There is also a rat, a mouse called Rattly. So all these beautiful characters, all these beautiful animals here um, are available in my shops. The link for all legal websites in which you can purchase my patterns are available here in the description. They are at a very, very low price. This way you can have these beautiful patterns and also support my job so I can keep creating beautiful patterns like this and more YouTube tutorials for you. If you like this tutorial, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any new content that I bring here. And you can also subscribe to my newsletter so you keep updated on the behind the scenes of the creation process. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my job. The other patterns are linked in the description as I said. And that's it. Thank you and I see you in the next video.